And a good Sunday to you. I hope you're enjoying your Memorial Day weekend. I'm NBC3 meteorologist Molly Batot. Let's take a look at the almanac from yesterday. We were below normal yesterday. We hit a high of 64 degrees. Normally around this time in late May, we should be in the low 70s. So our highs are below average. Our low was also below average. We had some freeze and frost advisories last night into, or I'm sorry, last night overnight. And I hope you uh, protected your plants because we did almost drop below freezing. Pretty close to the record, but not quite. Now, we are going to switch this trend as we head into the rest of the week. Our temperatures are going to be back above average, and we will be in the 80s for almost every day during the work week this week. So here's what you can expect for today. It'll be nice and quiet, sunny with a few passing clouds. It'll be warmer with a high close to 80 in the upper 70s. Get out there and enjoy it. It is an absolutely beautiful way to end the second half of your Memorial Day weekend. And I hope you do get a chance to get outside because for the rest of the week, especially tomorrow, we are going to have some precipitation and clouds mixed into our forecast. You can expect some showers early on Monday. And then by late afternoon, we could hear a couple rumbles of thunder and see some localized heavy rain. Rain. That should stay to the north of Syracuse, though. That's going to continue for the rest of the week. We are stuck in a stormy pattern. It'll be warm, humid, and that means we are set up for afternoon storms almost every day this week. Here's your fast cast to get you out the door today. We will warm up into the mid 70s. A breeze will set up later in the day as some cloud cover moves in, but that breeze will be warm contrast to yesterday when it was more of a cool breeze that kind of lowered our temperatures. This is going to bring warm air into the area. Now, here's your boating forecast. It's a great day to get on the lake if you're heading to Lake Ontario. Waves will be about a foot on the eastern shore and minimal every place else. Still chilly though at 43 degrees. Over on Oneida Lake on our eastern beaches like Verona and Sylvan Beach, you guys can expect waves to up to a foot. Warmer waters at 55 degrees. And then on the Finger Lakes, you can expect minimal waves, but the UV index is still high. We have a few more clouds mixed in today, but still make sure you put on the sunscreen because you can get burned um, on a day like today with a mix of sun and clouds, 77 degrees for tomorrow. Some showers are moving in early and then we have some isolated thunderstorms rolling in later in the day. Let me plan this out for you with Futurecast. We're starting at midnight on Monday. You can see the cloud cover has already made its way into central New York. A swath of moisture moves through quickly and by 8 a.m. some showers move through. I don't think they'll be as widespread as that. It's, it's going to be hit or miss, but you could see some localized areas of some heavier rain in those showers. They'll move off to the east and sunshine and clearing will start to move in. That's going to heat us up again for a chance of some spotty showers later in the afternoon. As you can see, a few spotty um, storms rolling through. And that's going to be the theme for the rest of the week. You can see this teeter-totter pattern. Cloud cover at 8 a.m. on Tuesday. We get some clearing and then look at that, some spotty showers. And I want to stress that for the rest of the week, this activity is going to be spotty and hit or miss at best. There will be some localized areas of some heavy downpours, some maybe some localized flooding, as well as some rumbles of thunder. But some areas of central New York could end up completely dry. This is the kind of situation where you want to check the radar before you head out and see where those storms are so you don't get stuck in a downpour. Also, for the rest of the week, since the chance of rain is better at the evening time at places like eight o'clock or five o'clock for your commute home. Even if it's sunny out in the morning, grab the umbrella before you leave because look at our seven day. It is unsettled all the way through next weekend. Our temperatures are above average in the 80s. Humidity is back in a big way. Tuesday is going to feel downright muggy. The good news is, though, after a front passes through on Wednesday, we're going to see some relief in the humidity and a brief cool down with a high of 79 on Thursday. For the rest of the week, the thunder tapers off on Friday. And then on Saturday, we might hear a couple rumbles with a cool breeze of a high of 74.